production. What up boys, I'm a little bit sick so apologies for my voice but I have to record the video anyway. So I recently started streaming and I realized that there's a lot of you guys and girls always asking me the same question. Oh Jeff, you're so cool and, and handsome. How do you do it? Ah, <laughs> just a prank bro! A lot of time I had to repeat myself on stream and I decided to make a video about this subject so I can finally voice my opinion on how to get better in CSGO. But first and before anything else we need to define what's a good player. What is it that makes a player better than an other one? Because CSGO is not a game where your character gets better, it's you. You and your ability to master and understand the codes of the game. So in my opinion, a good player is gonna be the perfect mix between this. Game sense aim and a decent setup because yes you can be screen but if you play on the potato you're not gonna hit the one taps so let's start with the game sense and by game sense i mean the understanding of the game the situation and the knowledge of csgo game sense is a vague thing so let's try to explain what it is and how to improve it playing csgo is like playing chess for every second in the round for every frags different outcomes are being drawn and then it's up to you from your experience and your guts and your knowledge to try to decrypt what's going on and pick the best option you can come up with quick example basic round on cash the cities are on eco but one of them saved an op in the previous round 15 seconds after the beginning your teammates holding beat dies and scream they rush me they rush me they rush me go away go away go away in that situation the chess play starts you know what's their play and now it's up to you to decide what you were gonna do to counter it in my experience here i would go a but i wouldn't just push out with my knife because i highly expect the guy who saved an op to be somewhere on a but not just somewhere i can already guess where he's gonna stay and here's my process of rezoning he's not gonna stay forklift because he's got an op he's gonna be trapped here triple angle from highway door and main and you can get pushed really quick and lose your op for nothing he's not gonna stay in a highway either because a simple smoke will deny him way too easily and his teammates are pushing B anyway so they will come middle soon enough and since he's the only one with a weapon he's probably gonna stay alone on A his play was to hold the bomb site alone since the beginning he's got to be in a place where you can peek the entrance and get back to cover really quick now the places where you can get back to cover really quick he's not gonna stay NBK because with an up you will be stuck here and at best you may kill the first guy but then you will get trade kill so that leaves us with quad or car so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna smoke car and I will push and clear the bomb site before planting the bomb everything I've just said here this whole process it must happen in game and in a split second this is game sense your ability to analyze the round and to combine both your guts and your experience to develop and use your knowledge of the game this is in my opinion even more important than aim because yeah if you don't understand your surrounding you won't even know where to look at and that's what I'm trying to explain in my videos called inside the mind of a double elite where I pose to debrief my reasoning and I believe that this is why you guys like it so much because I feel like people forget about it they all think that aim is the most important thing but I tend to disagree all right then how do you improve your game sense well I believe it mostly comes with experience combining every CS I've spent 11,000 hours my ass on a chair playing counter-strike which makes combined 458 full days in a row where I did nothing else but sitting in front of my computer <laughs> no wonder why I got fat but I will give you one advice on how to improve your game sense when you play you need to play in an efficient way if you play 10 hours in a row but you always buy p90 and rush b it's not gonna help you to progress in any way my advice here is whenever you die always ask yourself what did i do wrong how comes you died is it because you were not expecting him to be so close was it because you sneezed was it because of your fine aim debrief your death and understand the way you died so you can try to avoid it for the next time always try to use your brain to understand what's going on remember csgo is like a chess game every new movement unlocks new outcomes the faster you will be able to decrypt every outcome the better your game sense will be and then comes the famous part, aim. Aiming is obviously important, but I'm gonna try not to repeat what many others have said already. If you want to practice your aim, in my opinion, you need to deathmatch as I've explained in this video. I would like to focus on something else though, adding something that people don't really mention when I talk about aim. If I ask you right now, what are you using when you aim? You're gonna reply that you are using your mouse, unless you play with a steering wheel, which no. My point is that aiming in CSGO is a mix between the movement and the aim. The answer is that you are using your mouse and your keyboard. And here's why. 
Uh. In CSGO we have this thing called inaccuracy. It makes bullets going anywhere when you are running, shooting, jumping or getting shot at without a Kevlar. Because of that, even if your crosshair is right on spot, if you are not able to master the movement and you're not totally standing still at the moment you press the left click, you're not gonna hit the shot, even though you were aiming at the right place. This is especially why I despise training against bots, because you tend to stand still and forget that this is not how the game works. My advice on how to improve your aim is gonna be very basic. Play this match, not the Valve one obviously, and try to master what I'm gonna call counter strafing. It's very basic and here's how it works. When I'm running to the right and I'm about to shoot, I'm gonna release my right arrow and quickly place the left arrow to make my movement stop faster. You can say that I'm kinda using the opposite arrow as a break, kinda. By doing that, I will stop faster and I will make sure that I'm standing still when I press the left click. This is by the way on the basis of Scream's famous one taps. His movement, not just his aim, his ability to master the combination between movement and aim. So yes, he has to aim at the head, but if he's not standing still, he won't hit the shot anyway. Don't forget that. So let's finish the aim subject with a lovely graph. If I would have to define aiming, here's how I would do it. 40% of pure aim with your mouse, placing the crosshair at the right spot. 40% of movement, which is gonna be with your keyboard, your ability to strafe, to pick and to stop before you shoot. 15% of timing, because you need to master and combine the two previous steps. You actually need to synchronize the timing between every burst with your aim and your movement. It's not that easy. And 5% of luck, because as we're all explained in this video, past a point, your weapon has an inaccuracy range anyway. Even though you did all the previous points perfectly, your shot might just not connect, because, well, Gaben? And finishing this video by the last point, your setup. It might sound stupid, but trust me, it's actually true. If you play on a potato 30 FPS and 40 inch monitor, you're obviously gonna get limited by your hardware. Exactly like a cyclist can twin the two of holes if he's driving a tricycle. There is indeed a standard that you need. So that's it for this video, which I will give you that is definitely not the most concrete one, but I hope you will like it anyway, because these are important points if you want to improve on Counter-Strike. Thank you very much for watching and hug out! Did you think I was about to surrender? What? Do you think I'm French or what? I'm not gonna surrender. I'm gonna get my global back tonight. And I'm not gonna sleep until I get my global back. I want to fuck, alright?